Hey folks, PC7 here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 15. We're here on the Jornholm Mining and Construction Economy map, and I'm actually taking a load of two vevant, or venant, or road bedding, whatever the heck it is in French. <laughs> it's road bedding in English, and uh, yeah, I'm taking that up to the construction site. And the funny thing is, I actually already have a trailer full of it sitting there. See, I thought I had loaded the uh, Ponzi Bear with asphalt and driven it out here. And you'll see when we get there, it's actually parked at the tip point for asphalt. But it's not asphalt. I actually filled it with this, planning to fill this trailer with asphalt and bring it out here. So, yeah. But I'm not the brightest bulb in the back, and we're kind of aware of this by now if you've seen my show before. Okay, uh, just add a little insult to injury. Um, <laughs> I thought I was going to come on this episode and go, Well, guys, uh, yeah, your local idiot YouTuber has done it again. I've lost my save map, <laughs> which, in fact, I had. Well, I hadn't lost it. I just sort of misplaced it. I did the uh, map review for Mulroy Bay, and I put my save file and everything else into a different folder, but thanks, yeah, see, there's the Ponzi waiting to dump asphalt. Too bad he doesn't have any. Um, unfortunately, I, like I say, due to some really poor labeling on my part, when I loaded things back up, I loaded the wrong folder. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I was back on the old map, and I'm thinking, something's just not right here. I have lots of money, but, hmm, oh, look. <laughs> there's no road construction area, and there's no refinery, and yeah. Luckily, I did find the other ones, and we're more or less back. So, let's see what sort of money this gets us, because we're going to do this more often than I'd actually thought we were going to. Here we go. Oh, well, that really piles on. Nice. We're getting like a thousand per hundred, so what, 24k out of this trailer, maybe? Alright, 24k even. Beautiful. Well, there's some money I like having. We'll just get him out of the way here. Because I'm going to have to take the Ponzi down and do the same thing. Now, I'm not going to drive the Ponzi back to the mine right away. Because she's a very slow. Now, you can see I have uh, a couple of things, like the shuttle control is still on because... Uh, I haven't had a chance to readjust the XML file since reloading it. I didn't want to try and figure out which of those was which and on and on, so I basically uh, only loaded the basic files. The XMLs that are generated when you load the game, I allowed them to generate new ones. It's much better than finding you have conflicts because you loaded the wrong ones. So, all right, we'll empty him out and see what that brings us for coin. And uh, meanwhile, Let's hop a two in our tractor and go, go, go. There we go. 39.7. That's not too shabby at all. That's a terrible exit from there, boys. Oh, you know what? I think I have traffic disabled. Oops. <laughs> Alright, we're going to head down this way, we're going to cut through the farm. Because something I need to do, and this is probably going to be a little bit weird, but, uh, yeah, we need to take a quick jump down to the store. Because I'm getting a little miffed with the issue we're currently having out at the sawmill. That being that although that little uh, skid steer, and love it dearly, that's sitting out there, has no issues moving the pallets of wood, uh, it doesn't have a trailer hitch, and so we can't hook it up to the trailer and drop the sides. So, what I'm going to do, uh, the other thing is I'd like to have a bucket for it, so that we can in fact pick up the uh, wood chips that are refuse from the sawing activity, and throw them back into the fuel section of the sawmill. Kind of like our recycled water going back into the water at the, uh, or into the main water tank at the gold sluicing facility. So we need a couple things to do that. We need a shovel 
and we need to take the tractor out there and hook it up. Fortunately, so I have a choice. I can either drag a trailer out there, load that thing up, bring it back, or, and this is what we're going to do, I'm going to rent a small utility trailer, and I'm going to rent a skid steer, and then I'm going to buy the shovel. I'm going to use the skid steer to load the thing, obviously. So it's going to cost me 50, 60 bucks just to load this shovel, but that's going to work out a lot better in the long run. So let's do that, shall we? Let us do that. We need, oh, I don't think the skid steer is a mod, is it? Skid steers, no. We need the Universal Bucket. Yes, it does hold wood chips. Good to see. Anything else we need? I don't think so. All right. Let's uh, buy that. Okay. Now, we do need to go to mods. And we are going to rent one of these. Actually, how much are they to buy? 16000 Yeah, that's an awful lot. We're going to rent one of those. Okay, and, oh, I guess I should have done that while I was here. We we're going to rent ourselves a skid steer. Rent, rent, okay, back. Alrighty, here we go. It's all submerged in water, of course, which is not a good thing. <laughs> so, let's get this little fella up and running. Grab the bucket. Oh, it's pointing the wrong way. Alright. Now, let's get her loaded onto the trailer. Alright. And the ramp's down. <laughs> A little over exuberant there, I think. All right, now does it fit? Ooh, just barely. So let's knock her off, and we'll return this. Return vehicle. Perfect. Okay. Now, ramps up. And let's get the heck on our way. Now, what's the quickest way to find our way to forestry? Um, Let's actually go down this way. Something different. And we'll cross this bridge. Well, use the term loosely. I think this might be a footbridge. <laughs> yeah. So, coming out of this end of it, we want to, yeah, continue up the hill. Wow. Up we go. Nice. Now you know what? I'll bet you. If I jump out here. You? Where are you? Must be upstairs. There's got to be a coin in this bar. Oh, there it is. It was right under that corner. Okay. <laughs> okay, now. Let's continue along here. take this main highway right down to where we need to go, right? Right. I 
it's quicker here. Yeah, definitely go this way. Do, do, do. So we have progressed to the next morning. Now I have added a little bit of water up at the mine just to make sure nothing completely runs out there. little exercise done. Alright, there we go. So. Get this opened up. Perfect. And I would imagine that one's probably going to tell us it's full. There's a little bit of a, well, I wouldn't really call it a bug, it's an issue with the way Giants works. Um, the sawmill and that potato washer we use for tailings use the same script apparently. So because of that, whenever you log out, whether these pallets are full or not, um, it will call it a full pallet. I guess it's the same with the boxes of stone. So, yeah. Um, okay, we can disconnect that now go to this guy. Oops. Did not mean to accidentally clip it. Hook him up. Now, we need to drop the right-hand side. So let's keep at eight. Lovely. Now... I said, I don't think these are actually full, so we may get next to nothing for them, which is unfortunate, to say the least. Whoopsie. A little more height. Nice. I'm pretty sure it'll fit too wide with a little effort. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. How about on top? Will it fit there? Up. No, see, it seems to think on tops a lot higher than that is. Hmm. Yeah, but not solid enough either to actually. Uh, really not great. <laughs> ah, boy. What happens if we close this? Will that push it out of the way? Yeah, a little bit, eh? See, what I find odd is that pallet's not actually pushed all the way to the end. Pretty sure at one point in one of my other uh, maps I had actually fit two of these on here. Let's see. Huh. Definitely doesn't want to. Uh Alright, 
Let's see if that's going to give me enough room to tweak this little guy in behind him. Hopefully. A little higher. Really? You're going to make me do it the other way, aren't you? Oops. Coming. Really? Come on. See, it's recognizing the hitbox as an entire pallet of wood, so... Thank you. It makes it uh, a little more awkward to roll over than one might think. Alright, let's see if we can get this on here, hopefully. Whoa, it's uh, almost a little too much weight for this skid steer, actually. It's too bad. Starting to wonder if I wouldn't have been further ahead to just drop all the accessories off for our big tractor down here, seeing as we can uh, use it for front loader. There we go. Oh, hey. It actually pushed that time. Nice. Alright. That might have actually done it, guys. Beautiful. Let's, uh, whoops. Take that guy off the pad. So that we can start the sawmill up again. Let's go grab our shovel, shall we? Really? <laughs> You're stuck? <laughs> that help? Is that a whole bunch? Really? How about if we lock into four-wheel drive? Rum, 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 rum. There you go. Now you're happy, aren't you? There. And of course the bucket will allow us to do this. Not that there's all that much there at the moment. said there's not that much there but as you can see we are now producing another pallet of wood too so good and we can move this guy over here and it becomes fuel okay perfect Who oh, do I dare? Well, let's try it, shall we? I 
Uh, I don't like that. Do you guys like that? I don't like that. Alright. I guess we'll try that. He's scary. <laughs> How far are we from there? Wow. Eek. Alright, well... Unfortunately, before we can do that, we've got to return that trailer. So, what I might do is, uh, I'm pretty sure I have a mod that will allow us to load like eight stacks of those pallets. So, I'll see if I can find that for next time. we got to return this now, because this is only a rental. So yeah, I'll see if I can't uh, di Ooh, dig this up for the next time. And we'll go from there. Although I'd like to be able to sell those boards. Like I said, I don't think that they're full to start with. So it probably wouldn't make that much of a difference to us. Ah, where the heck are we here? Whoopsie. Ah, where do we want to go? Boy, it really doesn't matter, does it? It's a long way to anything from here. So, anyways, I think, guys, that'll probably do it. So we made some decent money selling that bedding. Um, next time around, I will actually uh, take a load of asphalt, <laughs> as I had intended, so that we can dump that off as well. Because I really don't want to start running uh, hour-long episodes here, because nobody will watch them. So, I think we will uh, probably call it here. And I hope you all are still... This is the uh, shipping port, of course. I hope all of you are still enjoying the series. If uh, you are, feel free to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a bunch. Oops. <laughs> a lot more than my driving does. And... Uh, The share and favorites are always more than welcome. And of course, leave comments, guys. Always welcome your commentary, good, bad, or indifferent. And I try to answer, answer sorry, everything that I can. So, we are just about back to the shop and we can return this guy. And then we'll grab the trailer. Or, I mean, uh, return the trailer. And there. Okay. Nice you little utility trailers, but I don't think we need two of them. And return. Perfect. Alright, so we've got our shovel out there now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's quickly zip up to the farm. So I tried turning the crop wither back on for the um, drive control mod, but it made no difference. The vehicles were still all over the place. As soon as you hit a field, it was like your traction went from hero to zero, you know? It was not good. And we still have another day before these crops are ready, so that's alright. I'm not uh, not 100% sure this guy will take asphalt. I might have to actually use the Ponzi if that's the case. Then we will, of course, uh, pick up asphalt next episode. In fact, I'm fairly sure it's a new enough material that we probably won't be able to grab it with this, and we will have to use the Ponzi. So, but as we know, it's a bit of a slow load. And I had, uh, that's why I took it out there between episodes. Just, uh, happened to load it with the wrong stuff. 
So I'm going to quickly pop out of the mine here, just before we finish the episode, to see if we can do this. And if so, we'll fill her up, and then, whoa, next episode we'll sell it off. Because we've also got uh, concrete slabs being produced that we can sell. They're usually worth uh, 30k a trailer full, so I got no issues with that. Alright, here we go. There we go, it does fill. So lovely, we are getting asphalt. Nice. So I'm going to let that fill up, and as I say, next time around, we'll go and sell that off. The uh, And I think we'll also deal with the tailings, because I do have it producing stone up there. So that should be a good thing for us. But until then, like I said, this has been Species 7 for the Farm Sim 15. We are on the Jornho Mining and Construction Economy map. Oh good, everybody's got lots of everything. And, uh, well, take care of each other, folks. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Ciao for now.